Grace, peace, mercy be unto you from God, our Father, and Lord Jesus Christ. My name is Pastor Emmanuel Renee. I have to my left. Minister Keith Doggett. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Uh, we've been talking about the, the, the five disciplines of soul winning. Amen. Praise, Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Today we're going to talk about excited at the chance of soul winning. Mm. That's good. We, we have to be excited at the chance of soul winning. You know, uh, we, we can't be like, uh, uh, what, we, do we got to go soul winning today? <laughs> Do we have to win souls? No, nah, man, stay home. Right. Stay home. We don't need you out there. We don't need you. You know, I want to say that in soul winning, you got to have the right attitude. Yes. Yes. You got to have the right attitude. You got to love people. You got to love seeing the Lord uh, be redeemed and coming back unto the Lord Jesus Christ. You just have to love people. And you got to have a desire and a seeking to want to see that. And I have to say that. Um, the reason that makes the church ineffective, it is because we have lost the desire for the loss. Amen. And I dare to say that. Um, I did, and that's why we don't see miracles. Right. Um, that's why we don't see miracles, the blind being seen. Because why is that? Because we, we, we in the church having a whole bunch of people who don't really want God. Right. It's, you know, what, what the church has become, you know, I'm not cynic and I'm not a certain way. We're not even excited about souls. I think most of us come to church by yeah. like, where's my next breakthrough? I'm, no, you need to come to know him. Right. To know him, yes, we want a better life. Right. There's no way that you're not going to know Jesus and not have a better life. Yes. Right. Right. But the thing is, mm -hmm. we want to know what you think your thinking of a better life is. What is your description mm -hmm. of the better life? Yes. Because Jesus said, yeah, I come to give you life. Right. And life more abundantly. But how, how do you see that? Because a lot of people see it in the sense that we're all going to be billionaires. No, really. We're all going to have mentions. We're all going to have all this. So this is the point of some Christian believing, but not understanding to know the other scriptures that says that um, carry your cross. Yeah. You know? Carry your cross. Now, there's a future, right, that's going to be an abundant future. But he has come to give you, but in this life, right, there has to be a burden to work for the others that are lost, that we have to come and that have done in other generation, that the Christian don't um, believe that there's um, a work to be done, but the Christian wants to go into the harvest and enjoy harvest without really planting That's or good. doing anything. So I found out mm. this is why most church people are unhappy in church. Right. Mm -hmm. They are um, dissatisfied right. with church. And I think this is why yeah. I'm, I'm, God is leading me to preach the way that I'm preaching to tear down stronghold and mindset about what we believe God to be and what we expect from God. But really, we need to know what God expects from us. Yes. What does he desire from mm -hmm. us? So now if you tell church people, um, let's go soul winning, guess what somebody's going to say? It's too cold. Really? Could you imagine if somebody says too cold for you? Where would you Come be on, if nobody was now. not excited to reach you? Come on now. Mm -hmm. Yes. yes. What did Jesus say about too hot in Jerusalem being that cross today? <laughs> I, can't right. get, yes. I can't be in that cross. Man, it's right. too, man the Romans are fired. Oh, Lord Jesus, they, we can't go up on that cross. Nah, your dad, can we make it yeah. another day? For real. For real. Are you excited about somebody else being blessed? Yeah. And I think this is a thing that the hypocrisy of the believer is that we don't get excited about one another. We're just jealous. Mm -hmm. We have jealousy. We're looking at, oh, oh, they must, they, the, uh, um, Christendom is more about a jealousy mindset. Mm -hmm. Who's closer to God? Yeah. Who, who have this more than God? If I have this, then I must be um, um, closer to God. So, That's good. And, and if you're suffering, um, it's because you've done something wrong. And not understanding, you may be suffering for the gospel's sakes, and you may be suffering because of some, you know, whatever it may be. It doesn't mean God is not with you. Amen. It doesn't mean that God don't love you. If you don't got no money, well, you broke. I mean, you don't love Jesus. 
Come on now, teacher. But it can be a process that God is allowing you to draw him. him, draw you closer mm -hmm. to him. So, so, mm -hmm. and I do believe it, you know, uh, uh, that for mm -hmm. me, um, if you're not careful, you can lose God in religion, right? You can, you can lose God in all the worship and all the praise and all the expression of God and not see the purity of his love and his goodness and see the biblical Jesus. The one that died from my sin, the one on Calvary, the one that um, was all over the New Testament. I'm gonna do a teaching, I'm gonna show Jesus in all the New Test Old Testament. Mm -hmm. That everything, that's why Jesus said that everything in the Old Testament was a foreshadow of me. And my goodness, they couldn't yeah. see me, but we see him in the Old Testament because there is no greater thing in life to, but to know him. Yes, you know him. amen. Oh, there is you. not nothing greater in life than to heaven. Do you know how blessed we are in eternity to have the ability yes. right mm -hmm. to want to do anything to serve him yes. mm -hmm. because the, Jesus said this right um, no man cometh to me unless the father draws him yes. Yes, Lord. so that means that for me to know him God the father More now. had to cause me to want Jesus teach prophet because I couldn't mm. want him mm. until he draws me. Yes. Ooh, what can we say to these things? Mm. If God be for us, who can be against yes, us? Yes, God. Hallelujah. It's good. It's good. I'm already a winner because he chose me. Yes, Lord. Oh, glory. I'm, I'm already blessed yes, God. because. The Father drew me to Him. Yes, me having stuff, me having a, 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 a hundred room mention doesn't describe my blessing. Come on now, come on. Me having fleets of cars does not describe mm -hmm. my blessing and my position of life. You know, stand there. What caused me to be blessed? That the God of all existence, yes, God. that the God of all creation, right? drew me to his son for me to know him Jesus. when I think about it billions have been born right billions have rejected him but he caused me yes, to God. know him hallelujah I want you to think about Ooh, Jesus. Hallelujah. I want you to think about how blessed you are I want you to think how blessed and how grateful how joyful when you mm -hmm. think that in the, in, in the light of eternity, Jesus. billions are lost. But you, little old me, yes, God. he drew me. Yes, God. No good me. He drew me. Yes, Lord. Yes, yes. Jesus. You know? Mm -hmm. And how is it that I cannot be excited right. and trying to find out who us God is drawing? I may not know. Some, Good. some, when they reject you, maybe, hey, you think maybe they ain't coming to God now. Yeah. Maybe they're coming later. Mm -hmm. But let me go find somebody who God is drawing. Yes. And you got to get excited about that. Yes. And could, could you live with yourself knowing mm -hmm. that if I'm not in my assignment and somebody went to hell who's, yeah. who's supposed yeah. to come because I preach. See, this is why um, upcoming Deaconess Angie said that on Sunday, mm -hmm. that when you say no, mm -hmm. when you walk away, yes. when you deny the work and the assignment, mm -hmm. you don't know who else is going to be affected by the no. Yes. But I know in my heart that God will always have a plan A, B. Somebody will come and do your job. Yes. Uh, and save them. Amen. Are you excited about soul winning? You want to say something? It's, the key. Yeah, it's, it's, it's true because you, you got to be very careful because, you know, just like how God, you know, you know, when, when, I, when I look at, when I look up here, like how God handpicked us, 
the Father, he elected us. Mm -hmm. He picked us. You know, to get to, 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 to come to his son. Mm -hmm. He picked us. He had the truth of him too. And mm -hmm. we gotta be grateful and thankful that he chose us and called us to do a job, do an assignment for him. Mm -hmm. You know, and if, if we have to show some excitement, we gotta be excited. You can't just say, oh, God saved me. He delivered us. And that's it. And you don't wanna get excited and go out there in the highways and the byways to compel mm -hmm. man to come to God. You, you know, I look at it, Mr. Keith, as a preacher. <laughs> Right? Mm -hmm. And I look at the assignment for the people. Yeah. The only time people get excited if you talk about God going to bless them, turn around uh -huh. 10 times. Everybody turn around. Ah! Oh, that's Woo! good, brother. That's good. Right. They, they, they want you to be like Oprah. Everybody get a car. You get a car. Yeah. You get a car. Yeah, that's good. Ah! Yeah. But let's say about, let's go save so about, huh? You know, it's cold out there, right? It's good. <laughs> you know, it's good. It's good. How we going? <laughs> I don't got no coat to go out there. I don't. I just came from work. I'm too tired. You know, I'm too this. I'm too whatever. Because we don't have no excitement for the loss and to be able to win the loss and get the loss to come into Jesus. But this is why how church has spoiled us. Religion has spoiled us to be thinking that coming into ministry and doing the work of God is only about you and your happiness and your joy and what you're supposed to have and not supposed to have. You know, this is where we've been spoiled. I'm supposed to be happy. Um, the minute I go through in life, I don't want to be in church. That means that you don't understand what Jesus Christ is really all about. You understand that? That means that you don't know about the suffering of God. When church is only about your goodness and your pleasure and what you want and what you don't want, then guess what happened? Then you missed the point. And, you, and where we are missing the point as a church is when we don't care for what God cares for and he cares about the loss and we don't care about what he cares for. So when we don't care about what he cares about, we are out of the will of God. Then what are we doing in his house? Oh my God, Lord Jesus. When, when we more care about making $80 million buildings than care about feeding the 80, uh, you know, 80 million souls with that money and making sure because Jesus care about, about people. Now, let me show you this, right? And I know some pastors may, may feel a certain way, but what I'm saying is this, when the people were hungry, right? But Jesus mm -hmm. told, told Peter and them, you know, uh, go buy them something to eat. Mm -hmm. and, and Peter said, too much people for me to buy all that thing for them. There's a whole lot of people there. But Jesus said, let them sit down. They're about to see a miracle. Nobody right. here. They're on, about to on. see a miracle. Right. And he gave thank God oh thanks. God. A lot of times, people care about legacy right. more than they care about souls. Come on, come on. Yeah. Speak prophet, tell the truth. So you're talking about you built a $20 Jesus. million dollar building when those built those things can create a community for the souls to thrive in, to grow in, to become better, to create jobs, and to do all these other things for the believers of the church, to bless them, to do the things that need, to put that money that they give back into them. Right, right. Yeah. yeah. Right. Build yourself, build yourself a million dollar church, take the other 80 and do something else with it to further the kingdom. So the kingdom can begin to grow economically by yeah. building up the citizens of the kingdom. Come on now, you teach a prophet. Because it's all that's about soul winning. I know. We don't need a little this is good. Talk. This is good. This is good really teaching. good. It's good teaching, Mr. Talk. My God. It's good teaching. Jesus. We don't care about souls. We say we do, but we care about ourselves. Anyway, first to um, um, Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 19, he says, um, For what is our hope or joy or crown of rejoicing? are not even you in the presence of our Lord Jesus Christ that is coming. That is um, our strength. As preachers, our rejoicing is not buildings we left. It is the people that we put in the presence of God. Yes. Those are the glory. Mm -hmm. Those are the things. Like how many people have we impacted to believe in the Lord Jesus? Mm -hmm. And how many people who going to stand at the presence of the Lord and giving him glory and giving him goodness. That is our legacy. Not buildings, not things, not anything else. And that goes into the point that Jesus in his ministry and Paul in his ministry was about the loss. 
and it was about people. You want to say something? So you reach the lost, reaching the people, the soul. That's what Jesus said. He said, I, I didn't came to, 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 to be served, but I came to serve. Mm -hmm. You know? And we got to have the same mentality that we come to serve. You know what I'm saying? Caring. Care, and, and like you said, it, it's about a desire. We lost a desire mm -hmm. to win souls. We done got so busy caught up in ourselves and me, 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 me spirit. Yeah. Instead of being a soul winner spirit. And having, like you always teach it, a burden for souls. When you got a burden for souls, you don't care what, you don't care if it's zero is over zero, it's fire a hot outside, you don't care. You're concerned about a soul, somebody coming to Jesus. Yeah, I'm not impressed with the things of men. I'm not impressed what men can give and what yeah. men can do. But, you know, at the end of the day, you're looking for one thing where Jesus said, well done, my good and faithful yeah. servant. That's, that's, good. that's the key, that's what you wanna hear. And then you want people, what what can, um, uh, bringing souls to Jesus is my worship. Yes, 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 that's, that's good. good. Yeah. Ooh, that's good. That is that's good. my worship, the more souls to the kingdom. That's what, because Jesus. he wants sons. Because what did God, why is it Why is it Jesus sitting at the throne? Because he brought, He sacrificed so much to bring so much souls up to the Father. Yeah. And what we can do as sons mm -hmm. and daughters is bring souls into the kingdom. We have to become a soul winning church. We have to come. We we have to be a church that have that that not just have members but have disciples. Yes, God. We need this we need a disciples in the church. Jesus did not make church members. Jesus Come made on. disciples. That's the difference between Come church on. members and disciples. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Amen. Yes, God. <sighs> well, um, we'll read one more scripture, yes, Philippians 4, 1. Therefore, my brethren, dearly beloved, and long for my joy and crown, so stand fast in the Lord, my dearly beloved. See, this is the heart of Paul. Why is Paul was such a great writer in the New Testament and God used him tremendously? Because he loved what God loved. He, he was shipwrecked because he loved souls. Because right. he was going to do a thing. Um, he was almost killed mm -hmm. because he loved souls. Mm -hmm. He was almost destroyed. He was in prison because he loved souls. Mm -hmm. He spent half of his life in prison and all messed up because why? He loved souls. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he, he, he spent half of his ministry mm -hmm. in, a, in a lock house yes. and began to preach to people that came to see him and preach the gospel. Yeah, it yeah. is a, when I read the Bible, it's a different thing than what I'm seeing yeah. in church. Yeah. Come on now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Whatever it took, it didn't matter. But look, at, even at the end, mm -hmm. it was about doing the work. Because me loving souls is me loving Jesus. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Well, we're going to stop right here. Pray the word, bless you and strength yes. you. My name is Pastor Emmanuel Renee. I have to the left. Minister Keith Dogan. We have one thing to say to you Jesus is Lord. God bless.